more than 15,000 schools will be qualitatively strengthened to include all components of the national education policy. They shall emerge as exemplar schools in their regions, hand-holding and mentoring other schools to achieve the ideals of policy. 100 new Sainik schools will be set up in partnership with NGOs, private schools, and states. Higher education. In Budget 2019-20, I had mentioned about the setting up of a higher education commission in India. We would be introducing the legislation this year to implement the same. It will be an umbrella body having four separate vehicles for standard setting, accreditation, regulation, and funding. Many of our cities have various institutions, universities, and colleges supported by the government of India. Hyderabad, for example, has about 40 major institutions. In, in nine such cities, we will create a formal umbrella structure so that these institutions can have better synergy while also retaining their internal autonomy. A GLUE grant will be set aside for this purpose. For accessible higher education in Ladakh, I propose to set up a central university in Leh. The other important projects to be taken up as a part of the NEP are listed in Annexure 5. Scheduled caste and scheduled tribes welfare. We have set ourselves a target of establishing 750 Eklavya model residential schools in our tribal areas. I propose to increase the unit cost of each such school from 20 crores, which is what it is now, to 38 crores, and for hilly and difficult areas, to 48 crores. This would help creating robust infrastructure facilities for our tribal students. We have revamped the post-metric scholarship scheme for the welfare of scheduled caste students. I have also enhanced the central assistance in this regard. We, have, we are allotting 35,219 crores for six years till 2526 to benefit four crores scheduled caste students. Skilling. In 2016, we had launched the National Apprenticeship Promotion Scheme. The government proposes to amend the Apprenticeship Act with a view to further enhancing apprenticeship opportunities for our youth. We will realign the existing scheme of National Apprenticeship Training Scheme for providing post-education apprenticeship, training of graduates, and diploma holders in engineering. Over 3,000 crores will be provided for this purpose. An initiative is underway, Honorable Speaker, in partnership with the United Arab Emirates to benchmark skill qualifications assessment and certification, accompanied by the deployment of cert certified workforce. We also have a collaborative training intertraining program between India and Japan to facilitate transfer of Japanese industrial and vocational skills, techniques, and knowledge. We will take forward this initiative with many more countries also.